Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with the second half of the case of 2017 Bowman Draft. Uh, jumbo edition. This is break number 24. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Got a nice little rally going here late at night. Remember the combo teams? Cardinals, Nationals are comboed. Orioles and Cubs are comboed. Let's randomize both lists. Three and a two. Five times for each list. Names first. One, two, three, four, and five. That was three and a two. Josh Pruce, all the way down to Tyler. Three and a two for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. It's three and a two. Phillies down to the Rockies. And we'll have another half case break on jazbeeshoggyland.com from a fresh case after this break. Or if you're watching the replay, just keep checking back on jazbeeshoggyland.com. All right, so, Mr. Josh, you have the Phillies. Eric Rager with the Mets. Nino with uh, your last spot mojo. San Francisco baseball giants, a little oppo Joe mojo. Eric with the Rays. I'm wearing a dot. Yeah, okay. I'm wearing the right hat today. Seth with the Royals. Eric with my Dodgers. Eric, oh, that's EA with my Dodgers. ER with the Orioles and the Cubs combo. Uh, Jeff Goldberg, you've got the Tigers. Tyler with the Diamondbacks. EA with the White Sox and the Rangers. ER with the Brew Crew. Aaron with the Twins. J Mac with the A's, Tyler with the Braves, Rich, you got the Padres and the Indians. Tyler with the Red Sox, Aaron with the Astros, J Mac with the Pirates, ER with the Yankees, Rich with the Marlins, Dave, you got the Mariners, EA with the Angels, Rich with the Blue Jays, Tyler with the Reds, Mark with the Cardinals Nationals combo, and Tyler with the Colorado Rockies. Now feel free to trade if you'd like, although I usually don't see too many trades. House is acting weird. Seth asking Royals for Padres. Now remember, the 2017 draft class is highly featured in this set. So keep that in mind. Jeff wanted to know if anybody wants the uh, wants the Tigers. And so we have the second half of the case right here on camera. Remember I marked them RT from earlier today. Big Boy Zolo 7, wonder if anyone would do uh, Mariners for Giants. I know Nino bought that last spot, but maybe he did it kind of half asleep. I don't know if he's checked in today. Kevin Crouch was saying off camera a little bit earlier, uh, will we finally get our one of one? I don't think we've seen a super yet, right? I know we've had some train whistles. But I don't think we've seen a one of one out of draft. Not yet, anyway. All right, I don't see any. Don't see anyone trading. Here's the uh, draft right here. In case you wanted to, or here, actually, not that link. Use the second link. Oh, wait, did we have a, did we have a one of one, Rich? Oh, we've seen plates. I don't think we've seen a proper super fractor, though. All right, we're going to have to close the trade window. So TWC means trade window closed. Wait, which one was yours, Rich? Who? Am I totally blanking on this? Did I take a picture of this? For for the for social media? Oh yeah. Did I I'm looking through I don't know if I took a picture of that. Well, Rich, when you get it, or if you have it already, take a picture of it, send it to me so I can put it on social media on at Jaspie's Hobbyland. What a mistake. All right. All right, so there is the final list right there. Trade window is closed. Some trade offers out there, but no trades taken. All right. Where's my, oh, there's my note. Oh, it's at Beckett. Well, when it comes back. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, box topper. We'll save that to the end.
Excuse me. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. I think this break should take us pretty close to the end of the broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. However, I will say this. If you want to squeeze in a quick, uh, quick one-box break, I think we will have time to do that. So if you want to do, if you still have the itch to do, to do another break, pop over to jazbeeshobbyland.com and check out our one box break options or anything on tenbuckbreaks.com would be a fun one to do as well. So just, just throwing that out there. Otherwise, I think after this one, we may, we may just call it just a tiny bit earlier than we normally do, about 10 or 15 minutes earlier than we normally do. And then we'll, we'll be back tomorrow. I'll be ready and refreshed, not, Travel weary, 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 travel, something like tired from traveling. We'll be ready and refreshed and back in action for more breaks tomorrow. Although, even in our limited time today, even in our limited time today, we, we got a lot of breaks done. So, I, so thank you very much, everybody. Happy Boxing Day, and away we go. We're going to start off with that Ranger Chris Sicey, or Cisse. Never know how to say his name. I'll wait until he gets to the majors. Helio Ramos. That's for Nino in Last Spot Mojo. Oppo Joe Mojo out of four ninety nine. dollars Just paper peril. Remember, paper doesn't ship, but everything else will. Three autographs per box. Now some boxes do have an extra auto. We already saw that box. It's usually one per case. We already saw that box in the previous break. But we might get lucky. See another one here. Troy Bacon. I always wish the next card would be like Jake Berger for the White Sox. There's JJ Matijevic, 38 out of 399. That goes to the Astros. That'll be for Aaron. More paper. We'll just breeze through the paper. And there's our first auto, Gavin Sheets, for EA and the White Sox. I always want to say that he's related to Ben Sheets, but no, related to Larry Sheets. Different major leaguer. Now, my eye was not on the hot stove over the weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Did anything of importance happen over the weekend? I don't think, I think I would have heard if some of the some of the big free agents were signed, but I don't I don't think that's the case. Gabriel says no, so nothing of importance. Any additional like rumors or anything that we can speculate on? There's MJ Melendez, green chrome for Seth and the Royals. The tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. That is 80 out of 99 for the second round pick. We got Lourdes Gurriel Jr., Blue Jays, Rich, with that parallel, 135 out of 150. Another Guriel Jr. That's Yuli's brother. This time it's the uh, 70th parallel. That one's out of 200. 98 out of 200 for Rich. More paper here.
And there's our third autograph out of this box, Ryan Vallad. For the Rockies, then that's for Tyler. There you go, Tyler. Some new guy mojo. Thanks for getting in. There you go. Second round pick. Gatorade Oklahoma Player of the Year honoree. Nice. Rest of this looks like paper. Papel. And the last bit, maybe another parallel, yes. It's Jacob Heatherly, blue paper. For the red legs, that'll be for Tyler as well. 33 out of 150 on that one, Tyler. So all of these that I sleeve right here, we'll top load those before we ship them out. This is just to save a little bit of time. I go through these already? Right Maybe I didn't. And that's that. Box one in the books. All right, second box. So let me go to MLBTradeRumors.com. I don't know why I keep promoting their website. They don't pay us for this. Um, yeah, there's there's like zero news. Come on. Come on, baseball. All right. Great. Twins have interest in Mike Napoli. Um, Diamondbacks re-sign Jake Buchanan. Great. Red sign Jared Hughes. Yankees officially re-sign CC Sabathia. Twins sign Zach Duke. Great. Reds to sign Daniel Wright. So what's what's going on? How come no one's signing anybody? Why do you think that is? Our our, team, our ball clubs just like ah, eh, we don't want to pay that much, Scott Boris for JD Martinez. Just not feeling it. We'll just wait him out. See if he gets desperate enough to take like a one year deal. Yeah, are people just saving up money for maybe people are people are just saving up money for the Bryce Harper uh, Manny Machado sweepstakes. Like why pay why pay uh, JD Martinez thirty million dollars a year when you just pay a little bit more and you get Bryce Harper. <laughs> pay a little bit more and you get Manny Machado. And certainly Seem to have higher ceilings than uh, JD Martinez. Man, then someone's gonna get a someone might get JD Martinez for a real bargain. Maybe teams are just waiting. Who's gonna be the team that gets JD Martinez at a cut rate price? Scott Boris is not gonna like that. Wait, who else is left? The Darvish is still left, right? Jake Arrieta is still on the board. Yeah, Darvish hasn't signed. J.D. Martinez, Eric Hosmer hasn't signed. Jake Arrieta, nope. Tanaka, has Tanaka signed? Tanaka hasn't signed, right? He's a free agent too. Mike Moustakis has not signed. You know, Lorenzo Cain, Wade Davis, Lance Lynn, Greg Holland, Alex Cobb, Carlos Santana. No, Santana went to the Phillies, right? Zach Cozart went to the, to the Angels. Jay Bruce, I don't think, has been signed. Logan Morrison? Is a free agent too. There you go. So there, there's still some names out there. Todd Frazier, he's a little bit older, but that's a name. Luke Roy's a free agent. People don't want a catcher. So there, there's some names out there. There's some names out there. Michael Brantley's a free agent. So I'm gonna take a shot at him. Bank on him being healthy. I don't know where those guys are gonna end up because before you know it. I feel like it's going to be like pitchers and catchers are reporting in like like a month, right? <laughs> Something like that. I feel like it's really close. All right, second box. Well, where do you, where do you think those guys end up? Those those top free agents. I guess it seems it seems like it's just kind of up in the air at this point. For the Diamondbacks and Tyler, there's Pavin Smith. That's their top ten pick right there. Seventh overall, eighty six out of three ninety nine D backs. Tyler has his snakes.
And there's Morgan Cooper for my Dodgers. Who has my Dodgers? EA Sports. It's in the game. Eric Ange has my Dodgers. Nice. There you go. Second round pick. Wait, what did that say? Oh, overcame Tommy John in 2000. He already, he already has Tommy John out of the way. He's good. Just got that out of the way. Don't have to worry about that. Unless he has the dreaded double Tommy John, but we'll, we'll not think about that. Uh, TJ Zoik. Zook. Zoosh. When he gets it, when he makes it to the majors, then I'll, I'll learn how to pronounce his name. 62 out of 99, your 21st overall pick back in 2016. Uh, maybe I should, he's a first round. Maybe I should learn his last name. That goes to the Blue Jays, Rich, with that one. Blue Jays have a pretty good young farm system coming up the ranks. Cal Quantrill, that's Paul's son. Paul Quantrill's son. That goes to the Padres, that's for Rich. 18 out of 200. Yeah, I, th I think the Dodgers, my Dodgers are definitely waiting for next year. They made a lot of payroll uh, cutting moves. They don't want to pay that luxury tax anymore. They're, they're at the max penalties, I think. I think they're at, they were at the point where they would start um, getting penalized on draft picks, too. They're at the point where they would lose like 10 spots on, on their first draft pick, no matter where, where that fell. Speaking of the Dodgers, there's Connor Wong. Blue Chrome autograph, that goes to Eric Ange, EA Sports. It's in the game. Forty-five out of one fifty. There you go. Apparently, he'll be he'll be a good one. Dodgers have a rich farm system, of course. So I think they're going to let those guys shine, and then maybe open up that open up the purse strings a little bit next season. Drew Ellis, green paper, 99 out of 99. eBay one of one, if you believe in that sort of thing, Tyler. I don't necessarily, but some people do. But I like, I like what the Dodgers did. You know, they're like, hey, we, we, we can't pay that luxury tax anymore. That's ridiculous. Can't lose draft positions. That's ridiculous. I think that raises the expectations for a lot of fans, though. Uh, that's a short print right there. That's a uh, facsimile autograph, a fake, but it's a, it indicates a short print, actually. Lazarito Armenteros. Nice. So that'll go to the A's. That'll be for J-Mac. So we'll see what the Dodgers do. We'll see what a lot of teams do. There's still this offseason, too. Maybe teams are just waiting and saying, hey, we're probably not going to spend on some of the names this year because we're saving up for next year, so nobody wants to be locked into you know, a long Jake Arrieta contract. 199 out of 499. Cash case. It's for the Reds. That'll be for Tyler. It's more paper. Should be expecting one more autograph. Not there. There's Kevin Merrill, though. Another one for the A's, J Mac with the A's. This one's serial numbered. 204 out of 399.
Wow, nice Clark Schmidt. Class of 2017, insert autograph. That is for the Bronx Bombers. Eric Rager with that. ER this time. The other Eric in this break. As 125 out of 250. Nice. And the rest? Just papel. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. Next box, good luck everybody. The Yankees looking like the, uh, the evil empire once again. Everyone was saying, ah, the Yankees looks like they're building from the ground up. The farm system and everything. You know, now, doesn't look like that's the case. I think they uh, they got Giancarlo Stanton on a lark. You know, they were basically gifted Giancarlo Stanton. And, you know, they even started think talking about Manny Machado, maybe. I've heard crazy rumors about that. They want to go after Garrett Cole. They just want to unload their farm system and go after Garrett Cole. Put that right-hander at the front of that rotation. Crazy. That's that's gonna be that the Yanks are gonna be a pretty scary team. They could get they could get that front line pitching. That Sunny Gray for the whole season. That offense. Who wants to who wants to see them in a seven game series? Yeah, they have a good bullpen, too. All right, good luck, everybody. And Charlie Barnes for the Twins. First autograph out of this box. That'll go to Aaron and the Minnesota Twins. Fourth round pick. We got another Jacob Heatherly out of 499. For the Reds and Tyler, I believe. Yep, Tyler with the Reds. Blue paper, Gavin Sheets. 105 out of 150. EA with the White Sox. I've seen Connor Uselton yet. There he is. Purple Chrome, 111 out of 250 for the Buckos, the Pirates. That goes to J Mac. Some paper that will breeze through. And the chrome paper. Adam Hall. We have not been able to confirm if Adam Hall is related to D.L. Hall. Stay tuned for for information on that. Evan White, 314 out of 399. Big Boys 007 with the Mariners. And the Evan White. Eloy Jimenez was 
a big part of that Quintana deal. 91 out of 499. I've heard rumors about the White Sox wanting to pick up Manny Machado as well. You know, they've got a young team. They could trade for Manny Machado and they can say, hey, this is what we're building here, Manny. You know, if you want to be a part of this. There's Alex Fiedo, your second autograph out of the second to last box. For the Tigers, that'll be for Jeffrey Goldberg. I believe Jeff was trying to trade this team, right? Maybe? Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo, it's a thing. The 18th overall pick. <clears throat> Excuse me, the 18th overall pick for the Tigers. Tigers looking to get younger. And another Connor Wong for the Dodgers. EA with the boys in blue. Looks like you're starting, could be starting your Connor Wong PC. Uh, any relation to Colton? Colton Wong? Maybe, maybe not. Juan Soto for the Nationals, 003 out of 200. Goes to the Cardinals Nationals combo for Mark. And then the final bits of paper. All right, last box coming up. Oh, and the box topper. Actually, let me, while I have this box here. We'll do this last. We'll just save it for last, but I just want to cut this open. Sometimes those can be autographed too, so that makes it exciting. All right, hey, good luck everybody. Thanks everybody who filled this up late at night. And good luck to all. Is anyone still alive out there? I haven't seen anyone chat since uh, since Gabe's chat. No, I know, it's still early in the week, post-Christmas. I know people are still on the road, still traveling. I know I was traveling today. But I appreciate everybody who came in today. Got into this break. Rich is still there. Excellent. All right. Well, good luck to you, Rich, and good luck to everybody in this break. Looking for three more autographs. Maybe more if we're lucky. We already saw the bonus box in the first half of this break or in the first half of this case, which was a different break. But you never know. Always, always get lucky. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you? Here we go, <laughs> Will Caddis. Uh, Speaking of speaking of Dirty Harry, I saw I watched Dirty Harry recently, recently as in like over the summer. Uh, Brian Miller, I feel like that movie still kind of holds up. Now some some movies look pretty, two fifty four out of three ninety nine. Some movies like that can look pretty dated pretty quickly, but I feel like that still holds up okay. All right, 
It's a lot of paper here. And there's our first autograph out of our last box. It's a blue Trevor Rogers. Rich with the Marlins. That's a nice one, Rich. 136 out of 115, 13th overall. 13th overall pick in 2017. Where, do, where did he come from? From Carlsbad High School in New Mexico. Carlsbad High School in New Mexico. I think Gabriel was saying earlier today that he resells pretty decently on a secondary market. 351 out of 499, Mark Vientos. That's for the Metropolitans, ER with that one. Is that some gold coming up? Gold. Hagen Danner, 14 out of 50, 5 0. Gold chrome for the Blue Jays. That goes to Rich. Rich, that card is gold. Gold. I want the gold. Give me the gold. I want to know where the gold's at. I'm going to rent me a backhoe and uproot that tree. You guys remember the leprechaun? Some more paper here. And Zach Kirtley. Zach Curley for the Cardinals. Mark Lum with the Cardinals and Nationals combo. With that refractor auto, 346 out of 499. We've got Jorge Mateo, purple paper for J Mac. 177 out of 250 on that one, Justin. Should be expecting uh, one more autograph somewhere in here. Maybe some more low numbered parallels would be cool too. What is this? Is that it? I think that's it. Wow, that's cool. Nick Prado. I think he's a Royal. 163 out of 199 from Huntington Beach, California. No, I don't think he's a Royal because I remember. We're going to find out. No, he is a Royal. Kansas City Royal from Huntington Beach High School. And that is for Seth. Once again, the tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. He was trying to trade him out of 199. All right, nice. Now, sometimes when you see an insert auto like that, sometimes, I know we saw the bonus box already, but sometimes we'll get a bonus autograph. Maybe, we'll see. More paper.
There is a bonus auto for the Padres. Connor Uselton, 145 out of 399 for the Pirates. That's for J Mac. And the autograph, see? Got it. Luis Capusano for the Padres. That's for Rich. Nice one, Rich. Second rounder. Nice. Seems like a good prospect from the info on the back. And that should be it, folks. Maybe another parallel. Let's see what we got. Yep. KJ Harrison is your purple chrome, 42 out of 250, ER with the Brew Crew. And looks like that, my friends, is that. It's more paper to close things out. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was random team break number 24, a second half of the case of Bowen Draft. Really nice stuff, um, especially if you like prospecting, if you're a big baseball fan like I am. I think you're really going to enjoy this. There'll be another half case break on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.